Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS, the Construction Management System. In this video, we'll continue in our management and cost control, and we'll take another example for next month, and how to monitor our project performance. Last time, we we'll checked our project performance for month two, and let's proceed now for month three for another example. First step, as we did before, we'll go for the earned value. We'll start with step one, click to run, then step two, click to repair, then step three, click to render, and step four, insert the completed. That's the completed percentage last month, which is month two. We need to insert it now the new completion as per the existing month which is month three according to the actual completion we have to insert the percentage so for the mobilization and the engineering we finish till now 70 percent instead of 15 of course this is still 100 percent for termite treatment we finish 100 percent for pcc under foundation also 100 percent for the block work of substructure we finish also 100 percent and the cost of overhead and whatever finished already for overhead is calculated automatically according to the time consumed of the project. Automatically theme is considered the overhead increased gradually each month with the same percentage every month. So accordingly in the third month we finished already 10%. According to this the cumulative earned value Six million seven hundred and two thousand one hundred fifty seven. That means the earned value for the current month only is four million four hundred fifty eight thousand one hundred fifty seven. After finish step four, which is inserted the complete percentage, we'll go for step five which is click to insert here the earned value manually for the current month, which is month three, whatever it's appeared here automatically, which is equal for the earned value for current month, which is month three, we'll just add it automatically. And we told before why we are inserting the same manually, just to be saved for the next month. Next month, we'll find here another new month, months four and five and six whatever whatever the new month and so we have to save this number front of each month this number here to add we have to put the cms in capital letters and insert the number manually four four five eight one five seven now you finish the step of the earned value we have now the total earned value and the earned value for this month which you already inserted here manually let's go for the management to proceed for the step two which is actual schedule we have to insert now the actual schedule are we finished these activities on time or not what are the actual dates for completed to start and finish this activity so let's go now for the actual schedule which is the same schedule and as we informed before that we have to use this to insert the actual schedule according to our project the treatment instead of starting in 28th of january it started in 31st of january we'll insert it after inserting the our password cms in capital letters 31st January 20 we find the bar chart the green of the bar chart is it changed as it's mentioned here the plant is the blue and the actual is the green so we'll find here the green bar chart is already changed and we have now a new date for all the project we have two days of delay till today we'll find here also the actual duration instead of 800 
98 it came for 900 and anti-termite instead of start 28 start in 31 the PCC instead of starting of 3rd of February it started in 5th of February that means we have now delays which is appeared now in the actual time scale and go back for the management now we finish the image value and the actual schedule let's go now for inserting the cost which in the overall cost control whatever we consume for mobilization till end of January we need to add it so we have to add now the consumption and the expenses in months of January according to the actual and according to the information and the numbers which we got from our accountant we consumed another 425,000 for month of January we consume also for backfilling 185,324 for anti-termite we consume till now approximate 12,560 and for PCC it's consumed till now 102,000 and for the block work we consume 223,000 according to this number now we have the actual cost for the project till the moment and we have already before the blend value as it's already designed before and the earned value which same is provided for us now according to our actual compilations let's go for management again to find the status report step one okay step two for prepare okay CMS completed by repairing status report. Thanks for waiting. Go to step 3. Okay. CMS will start rendering now. It will take a few minutes. Okay. Status report is ready. Thanks for waiting. Okay. Now we have a status report. As we informed before, we have physical performance for each activity. Each activity have actual cost and have earned value. Accordingly, it have also a cost variance. So we can identify now what is the status and what is the performance for each activity. You have to know if we have a delay or if we have a lose in cost or if we have a project running over budget. We need to know what are the causes of this over budget, what are the causes of this loses. So CMS here provide the, the cost status for each activity. Plus, CMS also provide the overall performance as a monthly performance. So we have for every month what are the blend value, what are the earned value, what are the actual cost till the moment, what are the total earned value or the cumulative earned value. And what is the cost variance till the moment? And accordingly, we have the CBI, which is the cost performer index for this month and for the previous month, and schedule performance index for this month and the previous month, and the schedule variance also for each month. Here we have the total project duration. And that's the current month and here same as give us the required charts here is monthly project earned value here is comparing between the planned value and the earned value in bar charts what is the plan and what is the actual every month and here is the overall performance chart this have all the required figures which are the cumulative results for planned values, for the planned values every month, cumulative in the blue line, the actual cost here in the orange line, the earned value, and showing us also how it's increasing, and here is the schedule variance, which is the earned value minus the planned value, and here is the cost variance.
this graph showing us exact how each terminology are increasing and how it's moving every month actually this graph is very important it can show all the details for the history of the project and the current status furthermore CMS is providing the report that's the date of the report end of January the plan duration it is 30 months which is 900 days we are in the third month that's the current month the planned finish date should be 19 of April 2022 but due to the delay of two days we'll finish in 21st of April 2022 the cumulative planned value till end of last month is 7,383,989 but the earned value is six million six hundred seventy seven four hundred twenty two thousand. The actual cost is six million three hundred eleven eight hundred twenty two and the earned value for this month four million four hundred fifty three thousand. The cost variance according to this data is three hundred sixty five thousand. The schedule variance is seven hundred sixty thousand. The CBI 1.05, which is indicated for that project is running within budget. But the SBI is 0.9, which is indicated that the project, according to the volume of work, is running in delay. Here is the actual completion percentage is 2.65, but the planned completed work should be 2.71. That's the status report. For the project which is informed about the actual states of our project next cms also provide for us a forecasting as we saw in the last month they show us also a forecasting for our project according to the current data and the current states so that's the forecasting report which informing us about how cms is calculating the daily delay penalty and the administration cost and the maximum delay impact and either he considered the SPI or not and he's giving here the calculation for the estimate at completion we have the three cases as we informed before either when the CPI is always unstable or CPI is stable every month and in case of considering the SPI so he giving us here a three volume of estimate at completion and keep in mind that our budget at completion which is the planned budget for the project is 251 he gave us here three type of estimate at completion which is 250 and 237 million and which is 250 million and 237 million and 261 million accordingly CMS make his calculation and recommendation and give according to all this data the estimate at completion at the end cms give us forecasting report which is telling that the project now is within budget the project is behind schedule and needs to crash or fast track we have a minor delay on the schedule but our spi is 0.9 and it's telling because time schedule strictly impacts the project so consider case 3 which is SBI strictly impact the project but calculated SBI impact exceed the maximum impact as we inform it now because our SBI is 0.9 and our actual delay is only two days and according to the equations of SBI and because CMS is considering he is incorporating the delay on schedule and the delay of the schedule performance index he find now the impact of spi will be more than the actual impact which is related to the time schedule so he informed now or he recommended to avoid the spi result and will go only for the delay penalty accordingly he recommended to neglect the spi value and consider the maximum penalties because of the value of cbi is, is unstable till now and that's according to CMS calculations and incorporating for the six sigma formulas within the 
SPIs to forecast the project estimate at completion. They consider case one, which is the CBI are always unstable till now. Accordingly, he consider now the estimate at completion is 250 million plus the delay penalties, which will give us total estimate at completion is 251 million and 192,000. Like this, same as give us the required report for forecast. Next, we'll see how CMS will give us a clear and a comprehensive dashboard for our status. Take another example for project management and cost control. And you'll consider now we are in the month number six. We'll go for management and cost control. We'll start the same steps which we did before for the previous months. We'll start with the earned value. We'll see here, CMS directed us for this page, which we spoke about before. We we'll find here the subject earned value for month number six. We we'll consider here the commencement date first of August 2019 and the cutoff date the end of last month. So we'll start following the same steps. Step one. Okay. Step two. Okay. CMS completed preparing the earnings value. Go to step three. Okay. Okay. Step three is finished. Go for step four. Okay. Step four is for inserting the completed percentage as per our actual work. The existing percentage are the percentage which already done in the previous months and already inserted before. Now we have to update this percentage according to the actual work on site. According to the actual progress, the mobilization now is 100%. The RCC is 100%. The strap beams is 100%. The waterproofing under foundation is 100%. The water sanitary work, and instead of 2%, we finish 4% for the engineering work. And for preliminaries, same as considered, we have every month the same expenses according to the project overhead and preliminaries. So now we are in month 6, 6 out of 30, that means we are now in 20%. If you have another percentage, you can add it. So now step 4 is completed. We have now the cumulative earnings value for the project. How much we already done? It's finished now 16 million out of 251 with percentage of 6.43. The previous earnings value was 12 million. So the current earnings value for the six months only is almost 4 million. We'll go now for step five, which required now to type the same earnings value which appear in the cell manually. We have here the earnings value for the month six, what we have to do only to type it again manually. As we informed before, we are doing this to fix this earnings value for each month to be ready for the next month. Now we completed the earnings value by this easy steps. Let's go for the next step. Go for management. We finish now the earnings value. Let's go now to insert the actual schedule here. Are we, are we following this schedule as it is, or we have any other modification? So let's check now the actual dates for our last month, which was in month January. Are we follow the same dates or not? As you remember from the second month, codes have four days delay. That's why instead of finishing the foundation in 4th of January, it's mentioned here finished in according to previous months we would have a delay which lead us instead of finishing the RCC foundation in 4th of January we may finish in 12 but actually now we finished in 18 of January 
so we need to insert now the actual date which is 18 of January 2020 we'll find here we have a delay and instead of completing the project in 900 days will be 930 We inserted now the actual date by this step only. We don't need other steps. Those steps only for developing schedule. We'll not do it again. We'll just only the act inserting now the actual dates here. That's it. Then we'll go back for the main page and management and cost control. Then we'll go for the next step, which is 5.3, the overall cost control. So now we already have the earnings value. Here we need to insert the actual cost. So we'll check our expenses in last month, which is January. Let's check this expenses. What's our actual expenses there? We consider here for the RCC Foundation. That's the actual expenses according to the actual material and manpower and equipments and the other expenses, which already delivered and executed on site cost of waterproofing under foundation the cost for water supply and sanitary and the expenses of the overhead That's the actual cost. We can go now for the detailed resources cost control, or we can see now first the status report. In the status report, we'll just also follow the steps, click to run, go to step two, click to prepare, okay. is completed preparing steps report thanks for waiting and go to step three step three click to render okay steps report now is ready thanks for waiting okay now we have the status report as we said before we have Performance per activity, which is physical performance for each activity. What's the blended value for each activity? What is the actual cost for each activity? And the earned value for each activity and the cost variance for each activity. So we can identify easily what is the cost variance, which activity is working over budget, and which one working within budget. Whatever activities we have over budget, we have to find the causes and the reasons of this situation so that's for the performance per activity what about the monthly performance for overall project we have here now for each month from begin from the beginning till the cut of date here is the cumulative land value till last month the plant value must be 17 million 600 the actual cost till now is 15 million 700 and the earned value is 16 million 139,000 so we have now the cost variance for each for every month the cost performance index for every month the schedule performance index for every month and the schedule variance and that's the chart showing us here the planned value monthly and here is the earnings value and this project performance for every month what is the planned value the actual cost the earnings value schedule variance and cost variance this this graph can tell us exactly the project situation as the planned value is above, that means 
we are in delay and down is the explanation and narratives for this chart here we are mentioning the commencement date the report till date which is the cutoff date the planned duration which is 30 months 900 days we are in the sixth month the current month the planned finish date is 17 of january the forecasted finish date is 30 of january 2022 time variance days which is delay 13 days we have delay of 13 days the planned value the, the total earned value the total actual cost the earned value for this month the cost variance overall project the schedule variance overall project the cpi the spi the actual completed work the planned completed work we have also the project forecasting we already discussed all this before it is not required to update it every month it is fixed from the beginning you'll find here the estimate at compilation with all cases and the recommendation of cms about your project steps the project within budget because because the cbi now is more than one because the earned value is more than the actual cost here is the earned value and that's the actual cost and that means we have work done with value of 17 million finished with 15 million 700 that's why we are within budget but we are in delay because com we should completed work with value of 17 million 600 but only we finish work with 16 million 100 that's why we are in delay and the schedule performance index telling us we are in 0.91 which means you are in delay also another indication for our delay our actual completed work is 6% 6.44% from the project but the blend com completed work shall be 6.8% as we saw all this coming for you automatically we didn't make any efforts for the calculation we'll complete the forecasting same is telling us the project is behind schedule and need crash or faster track because time schedule strictly impacts the project so consider case 3 which is here and that's the estimate at combination but calculate its SPI and that's the new point in CMS to already incorporate the delay on schedule with the schedule performance index he's telling but the calculated SPI is exceed the maximum impact so neglect the SPI value and consider the maximum penalties because the value of CBI is unstable till now, so you can consider case one. How CMS consider SBI is unstable, not stable? He did his calculation because now he have every month CBI, which is here. CMS using six sigma equation to calculate either CBI is a stable during the project or not. According to this data and numbers, CMS consider the CBI is not stable. That's why he is telling us because the value of CBI is unstable till now, so we can consider case one. Case one, which is using this formula to calculate the estimate at compilation plus adding the forecasted penalties. That's the penalties which may be deducted from the contractor or which may be consumed in the end of the project because of our current delay if we make during the project execution a mitigation plan to cover this delay maybe these penalties will not be here or if we stay like this maybe these penalties will be increased so CMS only give us the indications to allow us to start our mitigation plan and know where is the delay and where is the shortage in our project to cover and to correct at the end he's telling us now the estimate at completion will be 253 million instead of what instead of the budget at completion which is the budget of the project which was 251 only so instead of paying 251 we will pay almost 253 with the variance at completion with almost 2 million above our budget after this CMS will give us also 
a dash port. The next video will see how CMS provides for us a dash port. Thanks for watching and see you.